Here we go. The galaxy has been penetrated. And what's more, there seems to be a safe area over here immediately. That's handy. I got a load of ships there and I'm just going to destroy all of them. Well, maybe I'll leave them there. After all, if I die in here and I need to reopen the galaxy, it'll be nice to have those already in position. Galactic Army of Cook Day. Well, you're the same people here. How can how can they still uh, know of each other? Anyway, you've got building knowledge, which I need organite. Which I could buy for five million. Well, actually, I can just buy my way into this. Ooh, that is tempting. But I think I'd rather just find it. Yeah, because I because these guys love me so much, they'll just sell me the building knowledge. But five million's a bit of a stretch. But five million is a very short amount of destruction. So you know what? I'm gonna buy it. All oh, right. Yes, docking. Kind of like the Roman Empire, Jake. These are Byzantium. Byzantine is a pejorative. All right. Give it to me. Building Knowledge Tier Organite, get! Now that unlocks two more subsystem slots. However, I need to build up my ship in order to get access to them. Unfortunately, my ship had a horrible accident last time we tried to do much in that vein. But I have something of an idea. Do I? I'm not sure if I do. I'd like to just make the whole ship bigger and not have this ugly bit on the bottom. But, more than anything, I simply want those two slots. So I'm going to go to the computer core. We just gave us some weird stuff going on with caps. All right, give me that computer core. So I use computer core because... Are you going to merge together? There we go. I use computer core because it gives a lot of processing power. It's not cheap. Far from it. This thing gets in the way. I uh, might just get rid of you. Cool little designs for these, though. But I'm sorry, you cannot be tolerated. Not in the way of my computational powers. There we go. Merge all that together. Yes, yeah, sorted. I'm sure it doesn't need any. Uh, it doesn't need any covering. What I need, however, is the ability to GTFO if things look really bad. And at this point, I might want extra jump distance. There we go. Another achievement get. Alien ships warping in. What's my jump range anyway? It's good, but think about how much better it could be. Also think how much better my shields could be. Mm, if I put in on another shield booster... And yeah, I know, I know. Big surprise, Jake uses even more shield boosters. Um, if I do that with a hyperspace booster... Look at all the bricks on my list. Hope they die. Okay, uh, you know what? That might have all been a bit over the top, all things considered. I hope there's another equipment dock with my name on it. Because the problem is I don't have the radar range now. Either that or there is just nothing out there. Oh, that's possible. Well, let's see how well we jump for now. But our ships should have gone up dramatically from 11 million... Was it 11 million? 
to 28 million. There we go. Feel feel a whole lot safer already. I think one of the shortcomings in the game is that nothing changes post-barrier, really. Apparently this barrier's been here for generations, or perhaps longer, and it's just... Well, does anyone know or care about that? I don't know. There's a gate that leads all the way over there, huh? Would you like to very quickly travel there? No, because you can do it in one jump. How expensive is the gate? I haven't taken a gate in forever. It's almost unthinkable. They want 15 grand off of me. I don't think so, sunshine. I make a jump here and then a jump there. Wait a second. Look at the amount of rift. Oh no. We've got to go around this. There we go. The craft is under attack. Oh, back there. Well, is it my craft? I don't really care. I got all the pieces off of them, so they can just stay there until I get Ivorion knowledge. But I do need Ivorion building knowledge and at least a little tiny, teeny bit of Ivorion. Even like five units of Ivorion would be fine. And Ivorion ships can be miles long, the game warns us. I have zero Organite. Are you willing to sell me some? Yeah, I think I'll just buy my way into my first little chunk of Organite. If I'm in desperate need for money, better believe that's not a problem for us. Because I can always rob the Alliance Vault of its tune of 12 million. It's just a welcoming message to these new people. Automated greetings, automated deletions. Oh, well, someone's destroying all my bricks. That's fine. Uh, while I'm here, just give me a thousand organite. Just so I've got it to play around with. We value, we place a high value on peaceful resource transactions. Gladly again soon. Gladly what again soon? Lost friend, is it a merchant? Uh, of course it's a merchant. Even in here there are lost friends aplenty. Okay, also a lot of rifts going on here. Not a big fan of that. Let's check out these relatively safe places, but I do want to breach Avorion, don't I? Um, let's just go over here and see what's what. If I do get jumped, I got a lot of shields and I've got a lot of uh, ability to get out of here. Oh god. Okay, destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. That's fine. Can't do anything about them. In fact, they're doing me a favor. This saves me clean up, and I wouldn't have gotten any resources back from them. I wonder who destroyed them all, though. There were aliens warping in. Ah, pirates joined in. Who would have thought, even here in the center, piracy? Even in Avorion, F-O-E. All right, we're going for it. All the way over to Avorion. I've never cared much for the Organite sector. It's all gonna, it's uh, a Vorion or bust. The value of Vorion is just so delicious. Of course, the danger is also the highest. Funny, I thought my subsystems would be hurting more in terms of power, but I guess if I really needed more power, I could strap it in. Right, so the difficult part is thus. There's very little in the way of society here. But there are plenty of yellow dots. The yellow dots can be deadly, or they can be full of freebies. I'm hoping for the freebies, of course. 3%? I thought I just searched this area. Yes, yes I did. But it's next to the, the mad, bad, and ugly dude over there, so... I might actually go back to charting out iron areas, because I do want to absolutely brutalize the iron area for loads of money. So I'm actually going to send you down here with exactly that in mind. I know, I know, it's another 48 minute journey that you don't want to make. That poor guy's commute. Alright, let's go. Secret stashes and hackable containers can contain the Avorion knowledge. I'm obviously not in a position to kill pirates for Avorion knowledge. 
In the multiplayer, we ganked them, and even that was a big slog. We had better guns than I have now for that. So I'm hoping I don't run into anything immediately hostile. The Zotan are not immediately hostile. More I'm counting on my... <coughs> um, valuable object detector for telling me that there's valuable objects, and I'm going to hope that that's of Orion knowledge. It's the easiest, cheapest, fastest way to get it. Assuming you get lucky. I've had worse commutes. Yeah, tell me about it. Had a commute so bad I just went back to work. Ah. There is a way this could all go terribly wrong, and that's if I jump into someone that has a... Boy, look at all that wreckage. I could jump into someone that has a complete... Err... Uh... That's the word I'm trying to say. There is a word that I'm trying to say, it's just not coming to me. A hyperspace blocker, a complete hyperspace blocker would do me in something fierce. I'm actually going to strap on a titanium energy generator. Oh, those need um, shipyards, crumbs. Oh well. My thinking was, if I need to desperately get out of here, I want to be able to boost and boost and boost. As it stands, boosting does what? Huh, actually surprisingly not so bad on my energy. Okay, maybe if things look really bad I can still get out of here. Oh, but no, the problem is if they put a full lockdown on jumping, which they have done before. Sure are a lot of Zotan here in the sector of the universe locked off to the Zotan. Center of the galaxy is right here. The alien mothership is over there. I am obviously in no condition to take it on. It has 20-something million hull and a huge amount of shield and summons an enormous amount of reinforcements. So much wreckage, so many Zotan. Uh, can we get any stats on the Zotan nearby? If I were to fight them, how would it look? Well, they're a long ways away, and perhaps it's better that I don't know. Oh, there we go, 143,000 Omicron on this hardcore Zotan destroyer. So here's hoping and praying they never decide to turn on me. Battleships, cruisers, destroyers, I need the Avorion knowledge, and I need it soon. Ah, here we go. Loads of valuable objects detected. Secret stashes. Right, I will not open them here in case they trigger pirate attacks. I will collect them all, and then I will take them over to somewhere relatively safe. Although I don't think we know of anywhere safe around here. I'll have to find somewhere safe. That means I'm going to need more docks. What's, uh, what's going on here? You keep locking onto that. I want to squeeze you down. Huh, why is it locking on like that? Don't tell me I have sticky keys or something. Something weird happening, I'm telling you. Hmm. What's going on here? I feel like there's some kind of toggle. Oh, here we go. Match shape is somehow turned on. So I reckon I'm going to need about six of these. Is 
So when you reckon you need six, what do you do? You put on eight. Being able to dock things is such a cool addition to the game. Don't know if they always had that or not. Possibly not. Get over here. Junk. Yeah, so a big question is where is safe enough to start popping these things open? Just in case there's a chance that it won't spawn a Vorion knowledge outside of a Vorion area. Uh, I think what I'll actually do is I'll grab them all here. And then I will prepare an exit plan. It's also worth noting that I don't have o uh, Oganite R mining lasers. Or even any kind of mining laser. R or purifying. It's good enough for this. Come to me, come to me. Doesn't seem to want to dock for some reason. Come on, secret stash. Maybe the things I put in the side here don't activate. Those ones don't for some reason, uh, probably because all this stuff is in the way, so I'll just delete, 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 and then put another one over here, and another one over here. I've docked many things in the past before. This one suddenly seems like it's above me. Let's give it some big cheese treatment then. How strange. Should I just open you then? And that is interesting. So perhaps that's a sign for ones that you can't open. Alright, we need to GTFO. That's unfortunate. I should not have done that. I should have grabbed all the other goodies here first. Troubling, because now there are all those pirates over there, and I know there's a ton of uh, secret stashes. Mm, that's a shame. That's a damn, damn shame. With that many secret stashes, one of them's bound to have the knowledge in it. What if I go in, but plan my escape route fast, and we just open whatever we can? Is four ships a ton these days? This deep into the galaxy with this uh, relatively brittle a ship? Probably. But hey, that was interesting. So you can't dock an alarmed secret stash. Funny, I could have sworn you can. All right, so what are we gonna do here then? Well, we're gonna have an exit plan planned ahead of time. We're gonna take an immediate smash in the face. And then I'm going to open every secret stash that I can, as quickly as I can, and grab all the goodies. And if any of them cause havoc, then too bad. Notice that they're already mincing their way through my many millions of shields. Uh, I think I overshot you, whoopsie doodle. Uh, let's have you guys just on auto-fire. Come on, open up, give me the goodies. Hey, I got it already! Oh man, I made a good choice coming back here. 
However, it's actually still a bad choice if I die, so let's go and still grab the rest of these goodies. You know, what's the worst if more of them bring in even more of these uh, pirates, right? Hey, maybe they'll fight the Zotan if the Zotan arrive, and then I just pick through the remains. Also, it's possible to get multiple building knowledge, but you can't do anything with it. You can't even share it in multiplayer, which is sad. Sadder than sad. So what did I boost my shields up to, and how much have they already ripped through of it? So my shields are quarter dead. I will not tolerate my shields going to 30%, though. I must get out before that becomes a problem. You cannot sell excess building knowledge. There's nothing you can do with it other than chuck it or use it. Oh, something legendary in there, but it's probably a reconstruction kit, which is useless. And it is an Unbound Reconstruction Kit, which is useless. Why that's a legendary drop, I don't know. It just exists to disappoint. It's harder than it looks. There we go. Come to me, Secret Stash. Oh, there are two Secret Stashes over there. Go, my flamboyant beam. Do what little you can against these Avorion Pirate Menaces. Who dare to defend their secret stashes from me? How much damage am I doing to that guy? Oh, nothing! <laughs> is that another reconstruction kit? Yeah, no, it's a hyperspace interrupter, which is similarly useless. That summons Fidget, that doesn't do much. Mayday, Mayday, our hyperdrive is down, and then nothing. Okay, get that last traveler stash, and we are gone. Goner than gone. Open, Gib. Alright, Bolter. Hopefully an Avorion tier Bolter that I can put to use. Pew! Alright, really good. To think we paid 5 million for Ogonite, and we ended up getting this for free. We have now got all of the building knowledge the game has to offer. I haven't built a ship with 15 slots, maybe someday. And look at that. Shields half dead, and I had 28 million shields. They do not mess around here. What did I pick up in terms of guns, though? Got myself a nice turrety thing there. Uh, you know what? I'm interested in material level. I got myself my own Avorion style fierce double vaulter. Doesn't do damage to stone, but it looks like it would melt other things. Uh, would it really, though? 200 per slot? That's not that hot. Organite, Xenion, Xenion, da 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 da. What I'm interested in is did I get any R mining? So I'm looking, or e even any mining. So mine. I've gotten Organite. Double purifying mining laser. That's good enough. Like I said, I don't need a lot of, of Orion to begin with. Just a little bit. So that alone is phenomenal. It's also size one. And you have no idea how great news that is, because it means I can go to this little slot here. Could this dock thing please get out of my way? I replace you with Organite turret base. Blonk. And then I can put down my miner. Efficient, yeah. 28% actually isn't that bad for a purifying miner. But, there it is. Hope I don't die and lose that. That'd be sad. Now I just need to find a little, little, little touch of Avorion and nibble it out. Trouble is, there's a lot of deadly forces out here and my shields are still regenerating. All the other ships are busy. There is a whole lot of not much out here. Let's uh, let's try luck with a blind jump. How long till getting a Vorion? I just need to find it. We're in the Avorion zone. Any of these blips could have a Vorion. In fact, some of the ones that I went to had a Vorion. But if they also have Zotan, uh, if there is Zotan there as well, I can't mine the Avorion because the moment I use my mining laser. 
all of the Zotan go, ooh, energy source, and then round on me and kill me. Here, for example, uh, with that in mind, let's turn off all of our weapons. There are valuables in here, apparently. I don't mind grabbing some valuables. And yeah, we've learned an important lesson. You cannot dock a secret stash that has a, uh, a trigger on it. Interesting. Loads of rift around here, jeez. Oh. And we didn't luck our way into some Avorian. So actually we can use this to test if it's rigged or not. We get close to it. And then we see, are you willing to be opened? They're not opened. Can you dock? Yes, in that case we can open you. Not rigged. See, I don't know everything about this game, but it always feels good to learn more about a game you enjoy. Unless it's that kind of knowledge that ruins the experience for you. There was a game not that long ago where I learned... Oh, actually, Park Beyond, yeah. The more I learned about Park Beyond, the less I liked it, actually. I just had a thought. A really good thought. I'm going to try it. You there. Will you dock? If so, you're coming. If not, I'm opening you now. If so... Wait, other way around. If you don't dock... Okay, he docks, he'll open. A reviving protector of exceptional quality. That's nice, that's flat shield. See this thing? Let's take it with us. I want some of Orion. The positioning might not be ideal here. <laughs> what are you even trying to dock to? Come on. Oh, I, want, I bet you're trying to dock to my big one underneath, huh? Alright, that makes a lot more sense. That big one underneath will have a lot better pool. There we go! I am stealing this from them, and I will mine it out at my leisure. Did I mention that I love the docking mechanic in this game? I better be careful not to smash this into something else. It's so cool! And it's so open to your imagination. You can dock entire stations to you if you're big enough, or you can dock yourself to stations. Somebody said they, uh, they accidentally docked to a station using their own dock and ripped a bit of the station off with them. Awesome. When you jumped out of the sta yeah, I, I'm aware. I'm in the Avorion place, so I am going to find Avorion. But what I need is just a little bit of Avorion to advance my shipbuilding capabilities. And it's actually kind of good that I have a purifying miner for this. Okay, slow down, Shiparu, slow down. It's even harder to move with this giant rock stuck to me. Well... I guess it's easy to move, it's hard to slow down. Now let's right ourselves here and just come right over and we can dock so we can open. Nice. Efficient R Driller. Is that made of Avorion? It is, it's a 90% efficient Avorion R Miner. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. That is the good stuff. That is the damn good stuff. Should we cut our losses and go? That would be a clever thing to do. Let's get this uh, Avorion first, though. What color is Avorion? It's right underneath me. Sparkling red. There's bits of ship embedded to this Avorion, but that's okay. I can delicately cut it out. So we undock from you here. Choof, choof. And then we first mine out the tiniest scrap of it. What looks to be a good chunk to get. You there. Avorion is also hardcore, so it takes a bit to mine. There we go. Two little bits of Avorion. Oh, I'm going to need a bit more than two. I need to make a, a segment for this. 
Seems to be uh, not very happy with how I want to aim it. That is a pathetic amount of Avorion to be getting out of this. Come on, maybe I'll take a bigger chunk off. That's what I get for wanting to R mine a bit more. Just thought I might not actually have the slots to R mine it. Yeah, it's a four slaughter. That is a big boy. And I don't have arbitrary slots for it, nor do I have anything I can take off. However, what if I were to just reach subsystem socket 13, huh? All I need to do is slap on some iron smart hull. When will he stop getting away with this? <laughs> I've given myself the crimson chin. Okay, right. Uh, give myself some arm uh, unarmed sockets. And then, and then, and then, I just need some Avorion. Any kind of Avorion. Actually, since it's very cheap, I wonder if I could use Framework. This is kind of cheap and cheerful, but it should do the trick. Never tried this before, but there's a lot of I've never tried this before happening right now. Um, where can I shove you? Here, maybe? On that framework, can I somehow put an R driller? Maybe. Maybe right on the edge of this. We're, we're doing some real hackney work here. I can't believe that works! <laughs> That's been kept on by matchsticks and spit. Well, there it is. Okay, okay. In that case, I'm going to take my purifier off. Don't want that anymore. It's just wasting materials. You're the new number two. And now number two. You and you alone. I can barely move this ship right now. There we go. Now we're going to melt this. Actually, how would you feel about just automatically doing this? I, I, don't, I don't want to press buttons, let's be honest. Hop to it now. Hmm. Okay. Guess it's too lazy. I can relate. It might be because it's counted as a piece of ship, because it does have hull embedded in it. Which begs the question, do I have Organite or Avorion tier? Um, what am I looking for? Break alloy. No, best I have is Trinium. Ooh, uh, anything that does alloy. Nope, now a night. Wait, now a night? Thought I had trinium. Maybe I was looking at titanium. Mm. Oh, there we go. That zanion breaks alloy. Why did that not show up when I uh, when I searched just for alloy? Probably because this is new stuff that's swinging to the top, huh? Okay. Point is, I don't have anything that can deal with the alloy, so I am forced to crimson chin this one off. A scaffolding accident would be pretty bad, because it would break off this amazing uh, R minor that I have. A Vorion R minor with 90% efficiency already? It's amazing. And now I'm getting healthy chunks of Orion Ore. I've already got 1,500, 1,800. Uh, I think I'm now no longer hitting... Ah, uh, oh god! I didn't steal a chunk of Avorion, I stole a Zotan Breeder! 
Oh, oh, I don't think the Avorion are going to like that. The Zotan, rather. Oh, I've been mining their babies. I didn't say stop. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so it's counting as hull here. That, that's why the auto-targeter wouldn't do it. Because this isn't a rock, it's a ship. Well, it's a station, more like. If you take it with you, will it make more? Can we, can we breed our way to more of Orion? I'm going to feel a lot happier when I'm no longer in here. The Crimson Chin's going to have to go. I don't plan on making entire ships out of Avorion. I plan on making them out of Trinium that we're currently auto-mining. How's the Explorer doing? Oh, he's alright. Get yourself over there, Sunshine. Boy, I've got a lot of things I need to mark as checked. A lot of guns are going to flow in from the... Uh, the guys that are doing the scavenging, or the scrapping. That's no bad thing, but they are certainly going to clog up the inventory. And look at some of their crappy iron tier stuff as well. Just wish there was a mark all as seen affair. But they also give me modules, and I'm very happy to grab their modules. Right, so how do we handle this situation? I think we gingerly jump around. And although I said I don't need much of Orion, I think I should grab some of Orion. Um, yeah, I'll be fine. Oh, one thing worth noting is we don't need to have you on scaffolding any. Actually, I do. I do. Whoops. Still need you on the scaffolding because I barely have any of Orion. That said. I'm just worried it would break off. Um, I might be able to get away with just placing a small amount of Avorion turret, or even just blank hull, like so. And then I can shove my giant miner right on top of it. Almost. Didn't make the block big enough. There we go. Now we can still have you set to number two. Right, good. Just leave this breeder facility here. Maybe I should have shot it with guns to blow it up, but what's a bit of havoc? Free guns, throw them into the gacha. I guess I could. Do you ever get better material guns out of the gacha? I don't have a lot of experience with using it, also let's turn the gun off while we're doing this. Hick. I could still steal some more of Orion from here. It was a valuable object. It's an asteroid, huh? Might not be the worst idea to take and sell that asteroid here in the center. It'll be worth boon dollar, and it'll reveal who's close by, and it'll boost my relations with them. And it's not like I want to set up my industry here in the, in the core. I want to set up my industry outside of the core. With the exception of my... Ooh, well, actually, if I want my turret dock inside, maybe I do want it in the core. It's just that the, you know, the, <laughs> the enemies here are very, very strong. Let's just carefully, calmly make our way through. Do not set off the Avorion. Do not nuzzle them with the Crimson Chin. Speed up a bit. It's clear, it's clear going. I give myself plenty of breaking room. You, you can see that uh, stations have been destroyed here. Thank you, Zotan.
Their tech level goes up, but no material change. Depends on the research station location. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. Iron chain gun, titanium laser, now knight. Could give you any combination of those. All right. Claim you. Sell you. Followers of Leju Watsits. I get reputation and a million buckaroos. I guess I'm mostly doing that for the reputation. And also kind of knowing that they're out there. Actually, I think I'll jump further. I, I would really like to find some settlement. I don't know if the settlements are yellow blips or green blips out here. But let's just move around regardless. Trust that our auto shield or our impenetrable shields can see us through this. Oh, I thought this was a yellow blip. There appears to be nothing here. Nothing at all. Well, there's us. You get out of here, mods list. Huge rift in the way, though. Ah, wait, what am I doing? I could put in my hyperscape core. But I do think that requires a shipyard, doesn't it? Yeah, it requires a shipyard. Hmm. Only on ships, though. Ah, there are asteroids here. That's actually useful. If I can mine some asteroids without risking the Zotan, that's good. Where are they, though? Well, damn. Avorion tier wreckage. Extremely tempting to blow you away, but you'd probably also be very tough for me to destroy. Also, the asteroids here don't seem uh, don't seem particularly rich in Avorion. I think I said Zotan tier, but I meant Avorion tier. Hard to see dull red rocks in a dull red dusty environment. What I'm saying is, it doesn't look like a rich sector for Avorion. No, far from it. Question is, do I want to destroy you? Could be some cool loot. Could be some crap. Let's give it a go. Take the, I'll take the risk. Just gotta aim my chin in that general direction. And then thrust. Hit it with your salvage laser. I have not picked up an organite or a trinium salvage laser. The laser I was using earlier was a mining laser, which mines rocks considerable difference between mining rocks and mining alloys. Why am I running out of power? Ooh, Crimson Chin can't boost so good. That could turn into a problem. Since it's only temporarily thrown in there, I'm going to temporarily throw out my unarmed turret slot. And then instead, I'm going to make sure that I have energy generation for days. Much better. It's going to warn me that the gun that I have installed, I don't have the turret slots for. But you know what? I know that. All right, give me your goodies. Avorion scrap and Avorion tech. Uh, guns, actually. Screw the modules. I can get the modules anywhere. Although, you know, good modules are always welcome. The Crimson Chin has come for what's its. Salvage wreckage. Don't make me do my own work. Boy, my ship really does not want to take commands, does it? getting hard to aim this ship as well. I've just attached too many weird blocks to it. I need to refine the ship badly. That's going to take a lot of resources for what I want to do. This isn't popping like the wonderful balloons we've seen earlier though. I'm not hitting smart hull here. Or functional blocks I should say. Selling an asteroid to a faction in an area gated by a barrier sounds like a space version of selling a bridge. I don't understand the selling a bridge thing, but... 
There's good reason for what I'm doing here, and I'm sure there's good reason to sell bridges. Yeah, my problem with this thing is it doesn't have functional blocks on it much at all, so it's not really giving me much. Popping these little bits still gives some stuff, but it's the functional blocks that are the real pinatas. Functional blocks tend to glow, not glow like these um, billboards do. But the engines, the thrusters, the uh, the generators, they've all got lovely glows to them. Hello, dual Tesla cannon. And it's glowing red, it's probably made of Orion. Looking forward to the day I get my scavengers out here. One step at a time. Okay, this is this is pretty sad. Nothing here truly worth salvaging in my opinion. I've given it a pass, I don't see anything worth grabbing. I'm gonna put you onto aim target, but turn you off. And then we are going to continue onwards. Because what is risk? 13 Zotan and a lot of asteroids, huh? Again, I could always steal an asteroid, but this time maybe make sure it's an asteroid. Loads of more stashes. Excellent. And look at that nice piece of uh, Aborion that I'm sure would be happy to dock with me. Under my crimson chin. Again, I can't mine these here and now because the Zotan would chimp out. Oh man, I can't wait to do away with this uh, ugly ship. Not just because it's ugly, but it's so unwieldy. Alright, down we go. Close the gap. Not crushing the thing, am I? Smacking it with my chin. Okay, I'm not seeing... Okay, there's Doc, so we can open it. It is real nice getting this loot for free, especially in the Vorion space. There's also a claimable asteroid, which again, I think I will sell. Just got to build up the relations of the people that I meet here, because I'm going to want them to be friendly. I'm going to want to help each other out. We don't want to be falling to the Zotan together. Not to mention the devilish pirates. On top of that, let's make sure I have a get out of jail free card. Just noticing as I drifted ever closer to the Zotan, they don't like being rammed either. I think that's closer than the asteroid. Stay away from me, Zotan. I'm not here to tango. Is there a particular ship you're looking forward to building yet? There's one I call the Malcontent. It's design I stole off of the workshop, of course. I don't have the wherewithal to be making great ships myself but it's just a a large 15 slot well balanced ship and it looks very evil okay you can be docked which means you can be opened but that's strange because hackable stashes can be docked even if they do set off uh, enemy reinforcements. Don't know what to make of that. It's good to know that if I find an opportunity to grab a lot of loot, and that loot at this stage would probably be loads of Avorion, I absolutely can strap on a cargo bay and put that to use. Alright, on you come, one more over there, plus the asteroid, just gotta turn this ginormous chin of mine, not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin, 
but a sphinx? Honestly, at this point, that's damn near useless. It's good money, sure, but at this point, good money isn't good enough. Also, Trinium has finished their mining. Miner Trinium, get back to mining. All three of you, immediate delivery. Cry at that crippling safe mode. Oh gosh, you stay away from me. Don't know how close you have to get before they get hostile, but let's not take any chances. Sell the asteroid to the followers. Maybe after I make sure I'm not about to tonk the thing. Alright, that's fine. There we go. We don't know who the Lebu Jabta are. Do we? I can pay them tribute, apparently. Huh. Well, relations tend to start out low regardless. Are they these people? No, no. That's very different. So there must be someone around here. Oh, look there! Green! I think we found them then. All right, we're gonna go over and say hi. They should make some safe areas that should allow me to mine Avorion without uh, having to gingerly step around all the Zotan. Easy does it. Not even going to check if this one alerts anyone. I'll just open it and leg it. Easy money. Kind of want to dock that bit of Avorion, but now let's just be gone. All the way over to here. As for the explorer, I figured Dora would have trouble there. Oh, but you can check this out. Fascinating. Uh-oh. Oh god. Oh no! It's an enemy faction. Get me the hell out of here. Move it, Crimson Chin! Move! Faction ships in Avorion land are gonna cane me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't think they're chasing me. Good. Greetings, stranger. Inside the vastness of the galaxy, we are a shining beacon of freedom and independence. We are the Dominion of Themozo. And they hate my guts. Why so mad? Why so hungry for my money levels of mad? The Zotan just became a hazard zone. God knows why. Okay, that's very scary. So who did I sell the pieces to? Maybe there's someone over here. I'm going to make a jump over to here and see if there's any... Uh, maybe all the way over here. See if there are any civilizations over in that direction. Maybe they heard about you literally stealing babies. Alien babies. Nobody cares about those. This is just one big fat rift in the way, isn't it? Okay, so perhaps I need to go up and around this rift and find someone over here. <laughs> Distress signal. I, I ain't biting. Not, not listen to a word of that. It is pretty cool that the game will give you outright hostile factions more frequently on the harder modes. I'm making some risky jumps around here. I really should just leave. I've got the Avorion. Not much, but I've got enough. Got uh, after taxes, that's about 4,000 Avorion. And there's no real use for the Avorion at this point other than building the Avorion jump cores. The rifts around here are something fierce though. But who the heck bought my asteroids if it weren't them? It's usually sold to the closest people. 
Do I know anything about the... Who was it? The Liberty Jubities? Just tells me that they're there. Hmm. Well, I don't want to pay them tribute. Not for that crappy amount of uh, relation points. And what a weird setup we have here. Hmm. Unpleasant. Right. Do I know anybody friendly around here? I think I should jump in this direction, see if I can find any friendly faces. Because I want to find a friendly, safe area to mine a little bit more of Orion before I leave. I know I don't need it, but I do want it. Plenty of yellow blips. That's not what I'm looking for. Yellow blips, as we see, are fraught with danger. Are you trying to navigate in the Eye of Terror? Yeah, pretty much. This is the big boss right here, and I'm nowhere near ready to handle that. But what I'm trying to find is any sign of civilization here. Gotta be someone. Well, you know, not immediately hostile civilization. I'm not paying them for a ceasefire here. Boy, there's a whole lot of no civilization. There are you guys. That's outside the Avorion zone, though. Just so much rift here. Alright, go over there. Then I can go to the other side of the rift. I do plan on exploring all of these squares uh, ahead of exploring the entire galaxy, because knowing everything that goes on in the Avorion Rift is very useful. It's also a relatively small area to investigate. Jeez, oh. Nothing but wanton destruction. Going around and around, hoping to find any source of people, but the aliens have eaten them all. And replaced them with their little baby-making factories that I accidentally harvested. I feel like that's been a few episodes in some media. Futurama had that thing where they ate all the delicious little babies. Aha, here we go. I don't want to get shot to shreds, so I'm going to warp next to it and crap out a drone to do some scouting. I suppose they're Soylent Green, of course. I haven't seen the book or film or TV show or whatever that's based off of. But I think everyone knows what Soylent Green is. Alright, get over there. Tell me what's what. Alright, it's friendly. And it's the people I sold to. Okay, that's good. That is very good. Get over here to care. What do we have? We have a resource depot to smelt down our goodies. So even if I die, uh, I'll at least have a little touch of what, what the heck is. Oh, it's just a distant planet. Cool. All right, to care. Dunk. And then I can talk to these people. Hello. Not in. Bye bye. All hail, enlightenment shining upon you. Yeah, you guys hated me until I sold you some asteroids. Uh, speaking of asteroids, there's a decent chance that I can find a little lump of Avorion around here. And I'm willing to take that. My jumping speed is real far. Is there a shipyard here? No, it would tell me at the top if there was. All right, use your eyes, people. Are there any signs of Avorion here? Either way, I'm gonna switch back at my bonus power, which was you, for another unarmed slot bonus. 
Gotta be careful not to uh, not to put it in permanently, or else I'll have a damn hard time taking it out. That's Oganite over there. Trinium. Naonite. Oganite again. Xenion. Anyone spy any of Boreon? It should be very deep red. Hello! Nice big chunk of it too. Let's just bring our chin over in that direction. And you know what? I'm sure this time you can happily auto mine that for me so I don't have to press any buttons at all. Ah, 90% efficiency, that's all the better. I do not know why sometimes it's popping up as... Oh, I thought it said 7k. No, it's 735. And that makes sense. Some of the tips are registering two at once. The game does uh, bring some fast-firing weapons and mulches their shots together to give higher values. Hmm. It's everyone's final duty to enter the vats. Become one. All right, eyes peeled for a touch more of that delicious Avorion. Ooh, I see it right here. And just like that, another 3,000 odd of Orion, or with more to come. This stuff is worth so much money. I actually think that mining operations to make a Vorion that you sell is the best money maker in the game. I could be wrong though. Well, no, well yeah. the best money maker that isn't a factory. Because yes, a massive. Uh, Factory Empire will be the best money maker. Accelerators, body armors, mining robots, war robots, vehicles. Yeah, I thought I'd hit that too. I think I'll jump around here a bit, get to know the the locale before I return back home. It'll be especially good if I can find an equipment dock and a shipyard around here, preferably both. How much of Orion would it require to make your entire ship out of it? Hmm. 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 Do we have a way of checking that? We have save design. We have auto save design. And we find a crimson chin here somewhere. Here we go. The Decay 43rd version. If we were to make you into a Vorion. It would cost us a million. The small bits that cannot be made into a Vorion are armor, I believe. So it's 42,000 trinium worth of armor. And there's one piece of iron somewhere on this ship. Hmm. That cannot be replaced. A little drop of iron armor, perhaps? A Vorion can make most blocks. I don't know what that would be. I like seeing that laser do its thing. That is a massive mining laser. Size 4 is huge for a mining laser. I'm not sure if they get any bigger. Because honestly, how could a mining laser get any better than you? You're 90% efficient. I know that can go up to about 95, 97. You've got an amazing range of 2 kilometers. You'll need one miner as well. And the DPS is actually pretty high. I like you, efficient dual R driller. This ship is ridiculous. <laughs> I'd rather just take this base ship and make it larger. Or have it be a giant uh, cargo base underneath it. What is this? We are configured not to collect this. Well, do collect it. Turns out it was a diamond and a gem. I wish I hadn't collected it now. <laughs> this thing's just waste space. Okay, what more do our elf eyes see? It'd be nice to come back with a full set of a Vorion. But it is the rarest material, and we're not that deep into a Vorion space here. 
So it stands to reason that there's not tons of it. Okay, well that being the case, let us do a bit of exploring. And you know what? I don't want to sit through all the loading screens, so I'm going to exit into a drone, and I'm just going to tell Decare to jump to all these places. Is there a way to delete one? Maybe. I think I did just delete your orders. Okay, let's try that again. He's got a fairly fast cooldown. He shouldn't have any real problem unveiling all this for me. So we got a noble metal mine and a bunch of mines. That's the thing. Life inside the, uh, the barrier is very much like life outside of it. But shipyards and equipment posts, uh, equipment docks, those are important to me. Scrapyard! Oh! Ooh! If I could get an Organite or an Avorion uh, salvage device, it would actually be worth my time to sit there and nibble away at that for, uh, for some goodies. Because that's going to be Avorion tier stuff just waiting to be salvaged. Resource depot is not a shipyard, nor is it an equipment dock. Resource depot trading. Let's see how quick this is, and I don't need to sit through the way, uh, the loading screens either. He's just zipping around. I like it. Do wish I could figure out how to get rid of these once I put in. Followers and asteroids and gates. Mm -hmm. Wasn't refining on your to-do list. Uh, I can refine somewhere friendlier. That'll make me better friends. Although I do want these people to be friendly. It's good to have... Uh, oh, another scrapyard. Ooh. Well, you only need one, and it's better to take the one closer to the center. A good place for a scrapyard. Trading, oh come on, not a single shipyard or res um, equipment dock. Two more shots. One more shot, you can have military outpost, but no shipyard. One bad joke. Real bad joke, okay. Um, get yourself over there. And then I'm going to take over you. Sorry if you can hear my tummy rumbling. I have not eaten for a very long time now today. I'm getting a wee touch peckish. On the Avorion diet, evidently. Right, we found a lot of information here. We've also found some yields from our captains. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I've never seen captains get legendary yield out of that. Also... Object destroyed. Oh yeah, brick three. Bye bye brick. Was nice knowing you at some point. Let's get out into our drone and have to care. Look around. Gotta be careful. Could run into this guy's empire. We don't know how large it is. Even so, I'm gonna check out all around here because I'm desperate for a shipyard and an equipment dock. Why am I hearing some slamming? How did my quality of life for the blips turn off? Let's make radar blips always visible, but there's something actually blipping there. Trading post, resource depot. Hmm. Nothing but gates. This is actually quite a nice way to scout. The reason it's able to go fo uh, so fast is because I have pushed him full of things that cool down our hyperspace jumper. That and I don't have to sit through the loading screens quick though they may be. Servo, teleporter, resource town. Where are the shipyards? How do these guys build any ships? Sheep ranch, fruit farm, steel factory. I'm going to have to build all these if I want all of the uh, 
resources in the game, and I do. Resource, repair, and trading, but that's still not a shipyard. Hmm. I think it was Alpha in the multiplayer who said, why does the music sound so evil and intimidating now that we're inside the barrier? I do think the music changes when you get inside, though. Oh, a research station! And yet... No shipyard. Trading post, servo, steel, microchip, transformators. Travel hub, repair, dock, resource depot, trading post. <laughs> You've got a travel hub in here. What is the tourism board like? believe it. Alright, keep on scouting out my glorious explorers. To care, still did not find a shipyard. Get over here. I know it connects up to a larger area, so I'm going to actually switch over to De care and give you a new set of instructions. Plonk. Oh yeah, there we go, we got a million. Surely, there is no way there's not a load of good stuff here. Hope those blips stay up. They might not. Okay, now that works. Something here has got to have the goodies that I'm after. A shipyard and a an equipment dock. If I can get it a shipyard, I can attach a an Avorion hyperspace jumper that'll allow me to go in and out of the rift. And if I can find an equipment yard, I can attach all the jumping boosters that I can to get me out of here as quickly as possible. There's an equipment dock. And it has a shipyard, right, finally. Ruins of Victory 1. And this is where we find all of the multiple uh, shipyards and equipment docks, right? One closer to the center would be very useful. For all I know, they've got them over here. Oh, you've got a repair dock, but that's not the same. Yeah, so there's a question from Brady. He says, can you build a shipyard? I could. However, I would need a shipyard in order to build a shipyard. It's in a shipyard that you commission the construction of ships that will become stations. You turn a ship into a station founder. Kind of like how, I don't know if it's still the same way in Stellaris, but when you colonized a planet, you drop the ship down on it and the ship would actually become the main building. Well, in this, your ship will become the... There we go. Your ship will become the station and you evolve it into whatever station you want. As you can see, you can turn the tiniest block into the largest station imaginable, as long as you have the materials. This is good though, this is much better. Shipyard, equipment dock, shipyard, equipment dock, loads of goodies, a casino. This is where all the fun happens, over in the maelstrom of Honor 2. Honor spelled incorrectly. I just realized I never saw any hyperspace gate routes intersecting without gates. Hmm. Yeah, they don't crisscross, do they? Never noticed that either. Hmm. And you cannot build gates in this, although I did see a setting that seemed to imply that there's an option to allow you to dock gates, meaning you'd be able to move them around. Fascinating. I think I'll continue this exploration. It's already set up, so there's no good reason not to, in my opinion, whilst he's doing that. I'll keep an eye on my factory. Overview, 14 million. The gold plat has almost paid for all of its extensions that I put on it. And then it's just a million an hour for free forever. 
It's always running as it should do. And that Alliance Vault is sitting with all of that money. 14.126 million? 14. Uh, what's the discrepancy? The discrepancy is from the very short time that it was not an Alliance building. I'm not going to shove the difference in there. I'm not, I'm not going to care about these six figures very long from now. Oh, nice. I got myself a level 5 Shadow Injector. It's a shame. I really thought hacking would be a larger part of what I do because I like to hack uh, the boxes and deal with it nefariously by making others fight the pirates that come with. But I kind of learned it in the MP. You really... there are faster ways to advance. And you don't always find these things either. Just finding the magical boxes with the knowledge has worked out for me. <laughs> like this glorious iron knowledge. I'm going to have to get a little bit of knowledge for all of them, I think. It's only right. What else are you finding there? Any more equipment places? Just the two? How about shipyards? Ah, there we go. We found four shipyards already. Delightful. Once you're done with all this, we'll bring you back to here, I imagine. And then we are getting out of here. There's a green blip inside the Avorian area that you can see. You mean this one? Not incorrect. Let's see what it's all about. It wouldn't allow you to hack ships. No, it allows you to hack open uh, storage containers that have been left in storage fields. And they do have good loot in them. No question about that. And the hacking, if your hacking device isn't up to scratch, you will summon pirates that you got to fight off. And there's this weird storyline, which I will have to do all three of. Maybe it's a shipyard trading post equipment dot com, but... Mm, imagine the possibilities. But we are getting out of the barrier now. This was a dip. And a very successful dip, I might add. There were some hair-raising moments. What was our journey anyway? So we got through the unstable wormhole here. The unstable wormhole will almost certainly have collapsed by now. Then we saw that the Kupte army still keep in contact beyond the barrier. God knows, I guess their Wi-Fi is just better tuned than mine. How did I do this jump? Oh, it's just that they have an enormous gate over to the Glith... the, the Glitherk. Is that another Dutch word? And then we just did some blind jumps into a Vorion. And then we find the building knowledge around here. That was really handy. I'm glad I doubled back for it. My my knowledge senses were tingling. I knew there was something good there. But uh, what a mistake I made summoning those pirates. I should have thought, hmm, if I can't dock this and I can dock the others, maybe that means something. Eh, trading post resource dock. Not good enough. Anyway, to care... Get back here. Let's go and head up the equipment. Oh man, why can't there be an equipment dock over here? That would have some Avorion tier goodies. This stuff is unlikely to be Avorion tier. Of course, we could build our own equipment dock. Although I don't, I don't know if you can actually. I don't think I've looked into that. Surely, yeah, surely you can. We're not allowed to do business with you. We hate you, says these people. Uh, I would like to do business with you a lot. In fact, I'd like to be friends with you in general. Am I willing to pay tribute for that? No. But I might be willing to sell you a giant asteroid. That sounds like a job for the Crimson Chin. Yes. Yes. There's also an option to sell you a bunch of materials until you like me a bit better. I could dump a bunch of iron on them. It's not unthinkable. I could try it. How do they feel about trade, anyway? Aggressive, brave, generous, honourable, mistrustful. So I'm unlikely to get a lot of relations with them through trade. Mm. Less increase in reputation by commerce. Well, commerce is all I can do for... Oh, unless you've got some good missions. It's not impossible. How can I prove my loyalty to you? Lots of resource shortages for goods that I don't have. You want me to deliver power units? It is very easy. 
I'll do that. I, I am here to make friends after all. Oh, also, while there's a shipyard, I absolutely must do this. I go to Avorion Hyperspace Core. I look for any remaining framework on my ship. Because I do absolutely want this on the inside of my ship. Don't tell me I got rid of all the framework. Hmm, I guess I did. There is a solar panel though, isn't there? I thought there was solar panels inside this thing. Hmm. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is hide this tiny little block right here. Next to where I think I also have my teleporter. Is that my teleporter right there? Yeah, that's my tele uh, that's my Xenion teleporter. That's cute. All right, so the Xenion teleporter will also be joined by this hyperspace core. Hopefully that never gets shot off. That's why I'm building two of them. And that because that's made of Avorion, I am able to jump through Avorion. Uh, I'm able to jump through rifts now. See, so, yeah, the more we know. And that's why I wanted the shipyard. And yeah, let's do a let's do a job for you. Delivery of power units. Get over there, Crimson Chin. How did you get the building knowledge so fast for Avorion? I actually find that uh, Organite and Avorion are two of the easier ones to get. The Organite one I just bought because I was always already very friendly with Kupte, so I bought it here. That was a stroke of luck. Um, if they hadn't been here and, of course, hadn't had an... Where was it I bought it from again? I bought it from the uh, resource depot. Uh, yeah, 5 million was worth it just to speed up the time. As for Avorion, the thing about Avorion space is there are very few civilized sectors and there are loads of yellow blips. And more than anywhere else, there are loads of sectors with huge amounts of secret stashes. Stands to reason, it's all been terrorized, so they've got stashes of goods that no one dares to go and get, but we dared to go and get it. So I just opened up secret stashes until I found one with Avorion knowledge. It only took a few of them. I found one sector that had, I think, six building knowledge, uh, six uh, secret stashes. I just went there until I got the building knowledge. Unfortunately, I summoned pirates, but we got around that. That's uh, also how I did it in the multiplayer, if my memory serves. How much of Orion ore do I have at the moment? 12,000, that's more than enough. Like I said, I don't plan on building much other than turret slots and hyperspace cubes out of Orion. It is the most powerful building material for a lot of smart blocks, but eh. Right, we are docked, so we slow down Crimson Chin. I know it's very hard to slow down, you don't have inertia dampeners. Not good ones at least, or not enough at least. But I'm doing this job not because I'm desperate for the money, I'm not that young, but because I want these people to like me more. And also, the, the delivers they want me to do... Oh god, no, 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 no. That's not where they want me to go. They want me to go here. I want these people to like me more, so I'll do jobs for them. Still going strong. Well, I'm still going. I'm not so sure about strong. Just, just <laughs> freaking chin of ours. Gives me the giggles every time. It's going to be a shame to get rid of it. Hmm. Ah, this must be where they need our goods, right? You still have to dock to deliver the goods. I'm working on it. Don't talk down to me. What I don't need at the moment is my unarmed slots, so I'm going to put back in my extra power so that I can boost better, because this ship is slow. And I'm very glad we have teleportation technology. Because it means I don't have to worry about coming to a stop anywhere near you. As long as I'm within about three and a half kilometers, it's still docking range. And I'm just doing this so I can see what they have in their equipment docks. I want these people to like me more. Or really like me at all. There we go. Oh, wow, I got 184 relations with them. 
How about your transfer vessel job? I understand. I will pay you pretty much all the money that can be made through this job to you. Ooh, they'll probably give me Ogonite for this, but it'd be cool if they gave me... Well, better than Ogonite. Hmm. Do I just risk jumping you straight down there? Oh, I think I'm... Yeah, I'm telling Decare here. I need to tell you to go here. Plunk, plunk, plunk. Easy money. Get back to Decare. I don't want to see anything this guy's getting up to. Hey, cargo transport, where's your home? It's at Libio Prime. Add a note that this is... Uh, what was it called again? Legiba... Uh, you know what, let's just say Prime. And I don't want that little thing there. It's just so that when I look for it, I can search for Prime and be happy enough. Okay, whew, I thought you were going into that yellow blip. That would have been a no. That would have been a hell no. A lot more of them around here, huh? And I'm, I'm gonna do some yellow jumping to see if I can't find an asteroid to sell them. That'll cheer them up big time. Only after I get this uh, Lelibusium delivered to sender. Hey, look at that! Those big ones. I believe we were under the impression that those meant rift thingamajigger. Yes, yes. Oh well, that's how we're playing it. Took care, go and find the... Ah, oh, crumbs, where'd they go? I think it was here and here, right? Thanks, I'll take it. Okay, and it's all yours. That gave me 8,000 organite and much better relations. Uh, 6,500, that's what I'm looking for. Now I don't need to get them an asteroid. There's a scrapyard with a lost friend. I'm not going to bother with that. That'd be suicide around here. And that was the wrong place for you to care. Go there and there. Check out those rift research places. I don't have any rift research stuff to get out of them, but I would like to have it... Uh, known to me. Oh, actually, saw that. Don't jump, don't jump just yet. They have equipment docks who will do business with me. <laughs> I need to be good to buy most of their lovely stuff. Interesting. Not that I need this stuff, but it's just nice to have the option. Mm, reviving protectors. Some decent stuff. All right, to care. Head over there. And now I think we just get out of here. It's time to return. I said an order of uh, actions that I wanted to do from here on out, and I managed to completely forget them. What were they? Uh, was it raising the iron sector for money and then building up my economy big time? Because that sounds like what it would be. The over here, I'm almost certain, is just evil people. So we are going to dip and check. There's a small chance it's not evil people. Might be another less evil faction. But I'm thinking it's evil people. If that wasn't the plan, it is now, exactly. But I need to remember it next time as well. Right, so this is how I like to dip. If I'm not sure this is safe, and I can't take the risk. And uh, as we see faction ships here in Avorion, oh, tear me to shreds. So, we jump in with a probe instead. I don't care if they destroy the probe. And what did we learn? It is actually a more of the faction that likes me. Okay, that's good. But also risky, because I don't know where one faction ends and the other faction starts. That's okay, though. It's not information that we need. To care, I want you to go back to here, switch out for the best jumpers that you can, and get the heck out of here. It is time to terrorize the iron people. 
I'd rather terrorize them for their rift research facilities, but we have been unable to find rift research places here. Well, there's one there, but those people like me. These iron people, they, they deserve to die. Wasn't there talk of a new, more elegant ship? <laughs> and you believed it? Mm, oh, Rift Research won't do business with me. They must need, well, better than negative relations. You wouldn't happen to have any missions for me, would you? Resources, uh, shortage of tels uh, Tesla coils, yeah, I don't think so. But you do business with me. Look at all that nice stuff that I could have, but don't want or need. Dang, that's some energy capacity and a half, but I find that the batteries for the energy capacity are pretty worthless. I struggle to think of a use case for them. No, no real rifts around here at all, which is sad. And also, again, these people like me, old Thumbo. Well, the more we know, the more we can terrorize. I think we want to take a 6% risk just to fill this out. The answer is no, we do not. It would be a foolhardy thing to do. Mm. I want to get you over here then, continue the exploration. I should really consider getting my explorer fleets much better jumper things, but what I want is to turn them into actually big, chunky ships. You'd think you want your explorers to be small, light, elegant things, and maybe that's true for battling them yourself, but for doing uh, so much scouting around in dangerous zones, you need them to be half decent. Right, I forgot what I was meant to do, and let's move you over here. We'll get you some jumpers, and we will get us the heck out of here. And uh, much to everyone's dismay, I'm probably going to remove the crimson chin. It no longer serves a purpose. The reason I put on the crimson chin, in case it wasn't immediately obvious, uh, was that I needed the additional processing power from a just bigger ship in order to slap on, or in, in order to unlock one more slot. And I used that slot to hot swap out unarmed turrets and extra power. Unarmed turret for being able to use our really good mining drill, and the extra power for all other times because the size of the ship was starting to really drain my energy. But now we come over here and we just get out of here as soon as we can. All these goods coming in for my workers, my worker drones. He doesn't want to buy anything that I've got. Is that is that truly true? Oh, it's that I don't have anything that they would buy. Hmm, what a shame. And I didn't want any of this stuff, did I? Organite R miners? Mm, doesn't have any. Doesn't have any R miners at all. Although laser turret with 422 DPS per slot. If only I could, but I'd have to be allied. Right. Let us remove you. I actually don't need shields anymore where I'm going. Well, not nearly as many as I've been having. 11 million shields is already probably too much. I guess the Crimson Shin isn't doing me too much bad right now, as long as I go over to somewhere that also has an equipment dock. I can scale down my ship a lot where I'm going. But now what I want is the ability to jump better. I've already got minus 22, minus 31, minus 80 something. So I don't actually think hyperspace cooldown is going to affect me anymore. Oh, it does. It goes down to 10. Cool. Then I will take that with even more jump range. And now it should be kind of trivial to grab to care and tell them to travel all the way to the iron people. In fact, I want to know if these have respawned. So I want to find a, an equipment dock that doesn't, uh, yes, an equipment dock that I can use near here. Would you look at that? There it is. Four minutes, four minutes to travel that entire distance. That's not bad. It would be better if I had unlocked a lot of the uh, wormholes, but I have not. That's actually something on my to-do list, maybe for next time, is find the wormholes. 
All right, we're going to investigate this, and that's the last thing we're going to do before we make ourselves a to-do list for next time. Unlimited size? No. There is a setting for unlimited size, but you're limited by processing power. When you hit 15 processing power, you cannot go up to 16. There is no 16. So if you try to go up that high, it says, nope, your ship's too big. But you can sacrifice a subsystem slot to gain 117,000, I think it is. I should have a subsystem. He's looking, he's looking. That's not it, that's polarizing. It's like a shield with a plus thing on it. Mm, if I look for processing. No. Hmm. Maybe I got rid of it because I didn't want it and I liquidated it for legendaries. Funny, I could have sworn I picked one up. I remember remarking on how useless it would be. And I don't think they come on common tier. Oh, maybe they do. Actually, when I debug checked, I think I did find it in common tier. Okay. Oh. First column, orange. Uh, this one? No, that's the whole polarizer. Huh. Okay. Well, trust me, there is a subsystem that lets your ship go bigger. We're not terribly interested in that. Ooh, I am terribly interested in Trader coming over to play. But actually, I don't so much need you anymore. But need isn't the same as want. Why don't we bring you over here regardless? You'll be there in three minutes. Get old Trader tanks over to play. Because these guys can still be terrorized for whatever they're worth. Yeah, I'd rather slam in more energy to shield converters instead, because those scale. And in the end, what you need is stuff that scales, especially at the late end of the game on very, very, very hard mode. Another LEC. Explorer is... Hello, Rift! Oh, but it's Rift in, uh, in this sector. Huh. That's a bit of a problem for exploring here. Well, not, not necessarily. It actually kind of works out. Given the way that it cuts off. I love just exploring more of the galaxy. It really feels like, I don't know, taps into very uh, infantile feelings of colouring in in my colouring in books. Or maybe playing Mario Paint and using the fill tool. Slowly but surely we are uncovering this universe. In fact, according to my to-do list, I have unchar uncharted... Uh, charted one of the 100 tiles we need to do. 10 by 10, each of which include a 10 by 10 of 10 by 10s. And we have done one of them right here. And it won't be long until we've done two. Oof, wow. ah, we're storming ahead in this perfect space Hansa. Right, let's get over to an equipment dock and figure out what we actually need. Sadly, the equipment dock is miles away, but at least I can remove the crimson chin before I go there. And maybe that thing as well, I don't need you. I don't need these docks either. Kind of regret removing some of the previous ones. See, that dropped me down below 13 subsystems, or 13 uh, subsystem slots, uh, slots of processing power. So this one's become disabled. But that's okay. I wanted the extra speed. A lost friend, you say? A Commodore lost friend. Yeah, I want that. I will take Commodore ones without thinking twice about it. For the simple reason that if I can get a Commodore um, smuggler, I want him on my main ship. And if I can get a Commodore daredevil, I want him even more on my main ship. Basically, I want both. But uh, if I could only choose one, it would be the Commodore daredevil. Equipment dock. Actually... Resource depot. Do care, go there. I've got some resources to melt down. The refinery tax here is 6%, which is a bit rough on all that of Orion ore that I got, but eh, it's only like 800 or so of it. The refinery tax would be as low as 1 or 2% in my allies, but I'm not waiting around on that. 
My good friend Tanks is here. Well, Tanks, you know what to do. Tanks, order, escort me. In all your pot-bellied uh, pot glory. Half the game in this game is going from point A to point B. That's par for the course in these kinds of shippy games. At least I enjoy doing so in this game. I didn't so much enjoy it in X4. I did play X3. I can say X3 as well, but... <laughs> I played X3 for like an hour and realized, yeah, this ain't for me. I can't believe I put X4 up as a long play option. Foolish, foolish. How are we doing on Trinium, by the way? Pretty good. Probably good enough to make this ship into a bigger, better ship, but not big enough to make the... Uh, why are some of my guns? Okay, never mind. Uh, probably not. I lost my train of thought entirely there. Don't worry about it. I can't take you off until I bring back Crimson Chin, I think. That's okay, because I can just go to... Not the Hyper. Go up to the Iron Smart Hull and just go, Yep, it's Crimson Chin o'clock. And then I'm just going to tear out probably all of the... Oh, God. No, no, no. I thought I'm at this... I thought I'm at the... Ah, wrong one. I'm at the resource depot. Okay. Refine all my goods for 13 seconds. Give them back to me. You don't have anything I want to buy or sell. But look at that. Avorion selling for 36. And it would go for more if we had even better relations. And that's each. And you can get millions of this on mining operations. Oh, baby. Especially when you get non-safe mode carrier mining going on. Imagine the possibilities. Right, now we go to the equipment dock. And uh, let's get rid of our crimson chin for that journey. Get it done a little faster. Sometimes the game is very careful about not smacking into stations, so they will very slowly thrust or boost away. Alien ships, huh? Auto fire. We're not afraid of them, are we? Uh, but while you're at it, please make sure that all of my things will auto fire. Or at least we'll try. Strange that I'm out of auto turret slots. Come on, guns. I want to make some friends here. There we go. Just enough to say I took part. Put back the chin. Support more turrets. Yes. Yes, sir. Easy now. I don't want to smash into this thing. Inertia dampeners dampen harder. There we go. Right. Let's... Okay, right, I need my giant chin back once more. Only so I can tear out you, you, you. I'm gonna leave in you. You, I like you, you're staying in. Bulwark is good. I shouldn't need more than a few million shields. So I, you know, I got a lot of space for these energy shield things. I have a lot of processing power abilities unlocked. So the question is, what do I want? And I think the answer is a lot more gun. This is a flagship, and I want as many armed turret slots as I can get. So, 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 so. I obviously want my limited adventuring companion. One, two, three shields to uh, energy to shields and a boost to energy. That's fine for my shieldy needs, but it's more than I need. It's quite a lot more than I need. I'm going to tear you out. It's not updating my shield amount for some reason, but it will here. Four million shields, plenty. Uh, and I don't like lack of order to it. Can you come out of here? And then come down. Actually, I think I like you more where you were. There you go. Hyperspace cooldown. I no longer need all eight of these things to open the rift. It doesn't matter if I lose them all, I can get them back without being too much of a pain in the bum. Although I'd rather not lose them all. Uh, I don't think I need any of these, although I gotta say, Arbitrary Turret's 8 
is better than armed turrets 7. So I'll put in arbitrary 8. And that allows me to switch in and out my fancy laser beam thing if I need it. And there's armed turrets 7. And I do want to be able to boost, uh, to jump further. Why am I jammed? Oh god, there are bounty hunters. How bad are the bounty hunters? Okay, they're, they're wimps. Alright, nothing to worry about. Let's just slowly arc our way towards them. And let our auto turrets do their job. I was worried about this because bounty hunters is how we lost one of our main ships before. Galactic Bounty Hunter Guild. Oh, come and get some. Kind of a shame I got rid of the cannons. The cannons can't quite hit into there. There we go. Coming to, coming to beam range. The Ginyu Force Beam will bring you down. Oh yeah, while I'm here, do you have any subsis? Oh yes, I'm glad I checked. Reviving Booster on the cheap. Hyperspace Boosters, always. Turret Controls, always. Even civil turrets, I'll take it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I want I want my jump range and my hyperspace cooldown. That's you and you. In and in. And then I've actually got three spaces left. And if I actually have a good cargo one, I am half tempted by the cargo. Relative 30% cargo hold, huh? Hmm, you tempt me greatly. How's my jump range looking? Resplendent. I'll put you in at least temporarily for now. Let's get rid of the crimson chin. And, you know, pretty much all of this here needs to go. I know, I know, you don't want it to go, but I kind of need it to go. And see, this is absolutely destroying my subsystem sockets. Truth be told, could I not just... After all is said and gone here, couldn't I grab the same design and just make it larger? After all, that's what we need to do here. It is the blue thunder, no, it's the blue tiger. I don't know why I don't see malcontent here. Fortunately, I keep malcontent saved here. Malcontent is 30 million cost in terms of money. 800,000 iron, barely any titanium. I don't know why it's so cheap on the iron, uh, so much iron. Uh, I know it's got a massive inertia dampener in it and inertia dampeners can only be made of iron and a vorion. But if I had just a wee bit more now, Knight and Trinium. I could actually build Malcontent. And you know what? It's got a big flat underbelly for attaching a big old uh, cargo bay to. Okay, the Avorion is another question, but we'll go and grab that. This is this is my end game ship. I love this ship. It looks so good. It's so evil. But it does have a more advanced version. This is a Malcontent that is upgraded in almost every way to a Vorion. It's got a lot of a Vorion plating on the top to mount a Vorion guns all over it, as if it didn't already have enough spaces for it. But uh, this is what I'm aiming for. Are you going to build any carriers? Only for automated ship, uh, only for automated mining and scrapping. I don't actually like using carriers in this game. Anyway, that's something to dream of. For now, I'm looking at my blue tiger. And if I were to build you up to a 10-slotted blue tiger... Yeah, yeah, that's alright. I'll apply that design, I'll pay that big amount of money. It's already notably bigger, but I'm looking to slap on the usual underneath. I think I'll make it out of titanium, not crew quarters, but cargo bay. And they say, please, Jake, no more cargo bays. And I say, more cargo bays, you say? Uh, it took me up to 14. I think I'd rather it were 
Well, the more square-like it is, the more efficient it is. I'm never going to use this dock underneath here. I'm just going to delete that. Somewhere the workshop maker of this ship is screaming. And I, like, titanium for you. Bye bye, titanium. Okay. And I can merge you together. And like that, because that massive cargo bay, which is uh, horrifically slowing us down, we are now a 15 slot ship. But now I'm wondering. Do I want that? And I'm starting to think I don't. You see, I have a cargo ship following me around for jobs like that. I would rather this entire ship just became bigger. I think we can do 125. There we go. And now, if I find some of its framework and replace this framework with computer cores, That's me almost up at 13 already. That is me at 13. A bit more in the way of computer core, please. 14 is fine. I'm not going to get so greedy for the 15th one, but uh, you know how it is. Greed is good, after all. 14, a bit more, a bit more. Framework exists for this largely. It creates little gaps that you can add additional blocks that you need. So I'm using it at least. There we go, we're up at 14. No need for 15. And of course, I want to find all of my turret bases. Grab them all and replace them with Avorion turret bases. That was actually surprisingly expensive. Okay, this is the this is the main granddaddy of all of our ships. I want to replace these and maybe you as well with the Orion turret bases. And additionally, I obviously need an Avorion hyperspace core. Make two of them out of the smallest amount that I can. Nestle one of them right there. Nestle another one right here and here. So even if I somehow get shot to shreds, those are going nowhere. And I want the Xenion teleporter. Transponder. And that one's going to flank you. Here and here. Why are they all red? Well, it doesn't matter. Right, there we go. Now there's a ship. All right, looking good. Was there anything else I wanted to add? It's still got its delicious amount of shield. I'm gonna need some crew for it, obviously. Give me every crew you have. <clears throat> All right, what else is needed? I said every crew, by the way. Give me your gunners, my, eh, don't give me the miners. Give me the engineers and the other staff too. Clunk, clunk, clunk. And now we need to add the guns. I want DPS per slot. I want to be sure that they are for gunners. And I want to make sure I have some long range weapon. Holy moly, look at that. We found an Avorion Dual Annihilator, 26 and a half kilometers. Size five, it's a big one. It deserves to be the centerpiece here. That is going to certainly annihilate around here. Uh, but why have one rail gun when you can have multiple rail guns? Like I said, rail guns have been nerfed pretty hard in the game, but what if we also flanked with rail guns on these? I'm kind of looking for range more than power, but. That'll do nicely. It's already 10 of the slots taken up by railguns, and it's already given us 4.3 thousand Omicron. So three railguns. Uh, it's good to have something that melts. Oh, how can I say no to my incredibly flamboyant 
beam of Ginyu. You know what? We should also have some cannons, shouldn't we? What's the point in having a ship like this if we don't also have the feeling of doom, doom, doom? That's going to fire once every two seconds. Do we have another cannon? Here's a cannon. Yep, it's a cannon, all right. And then beyond that, I want stuff that destroys hull. What's the one that says hull? It says damage to hull. I don't think that's going to help me find it. So what I think... I think it's antimatter, right? Antimatter does extra hull damage, so I absolutely want the antimatter guns. They don't tend to have the greatest range, so I've got no problem just sticking them on the front. Just give me the heaviest antimatter weapons you have. It complains about lack of gunners, but the game and its frequent complaints. Someone's going to notice that they're off-center, but that someone isn't me. Got space for a few more. Shove one over here. Shove one over here. And we've got space for one more. Crummy little antimatter bolter here. All right, there we go. Now this ship is going to kick some serious keister. Nice. I don't need to add any kind of unarmed turret to it as well. Alright, not only that, but because I mostly just scaled it, it actually handles surprisingly well because the the thrusters to maneuver it. I suppose we could show them off, couldn't we? The thrusters inside are also much larger and able to correct its course. Thrusters at the front and thrusters at the side. But there are also directional thrusters, there we go. Thrusters that go up, down, and sidey side, and they're on the nose to help move it because center of gravity matters. Things like putting your engines inside the ship and fully enclosing them still thrusts the thing around, so it doesn't matter like that, but center of gravity relativity does matter. I also forgot I have four defensive turret slots, so gunners de fer. Mount one here, one here, and two on the underbelly as well. And slot them over to four, 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 four. Those will always be automatic. Good, good, good. Very good. I'd go for at least 0 0.5 rads per second. Well, what am I at? I don't know. Uh, I still have two more subsystem slots. And if I'm not going for cargo, what could this ship do with more of? It's got plenty of energy. Mm, I could give it more guns. Could absolutely give it more guns. We are here to terrorize sectors. Why would we not give ourselves more guns? Arbitrary six or armed. Hmm. Guess I don't have any yellow armed ones. Must have put them on my auto drones. Exactly. More guns, more better. Although, well, I already have jump range through the wazoo, don't I? Okay, then. Gunner. And remember, we're trying to destroy thing, uh, destroy stuff around here, so antimatter works best. But then again, if we focus too much on that, we're going to lose the DPS race. So I'm just going to put on all the stuff that says it's got the best DPS. Whether I agree or not. I mean, sometimes optimization is just not worth the mental hassle. Ooh, I like you, but look at that. It's a size 5 Avorion Electro thing. Damages technical blocks doubly hard. You do extra damage to shields, and you know what? We're not fighting shields where we're going. I'm bringing in this big bad boy. I feel like I had a tool like that one day. Anything size 2? Triple plasma? I just said no to damage to shields, but I'm adding that in anyway. I'm looking forward to leveling sectors with this. Right, where is my big fat tank? You there, tanks? 
Let's get you over here as well. Boy, you are slow as sin. Uh, do you have impenetrable shields? You do not. Let's change that, because I did buy an extra bulwark with this in mind. Armed turret slots plus 10. Really? I guess you are using them. Uh, jump range is up. Shield, energy. Yeah, this all seems fine. Aside from the fact that you're big, fat, slow, and hideous, it's all okay. Why do you have this? Oh, I remember. You're meant to be selling stuff. Um, I should have kept that in then, shouldn't I? Yes, indeed. Where did it go? I'm not going to give you a fancy one if a small one will suffice. In fact, I'm going to give you a crappy one. What do you think of that? Let's see, let's see. I want to make my cargo bay out of titanium, because it's nice and cheap. Cheap, he says, running out of money. You cannot build this, it overlaps with another block. Oh, would you look at that, we're slamming into that. What if I just made you really fat-bellied? How do you like that? He says, help me, I can barely move. <laughs> Nelson needs a lot more mechanics. But look at that cargo hold. Boy, you know, I do feel a little bit bad about that. How about we give you a big old engine as well? To help you propel yourself forward. That's also not good enough. We also need this thing to turn. Eh, I'm sure they can figure out the... Th well... Now let's get some thrusters in the front of this poor thing. It's alright to be jealous of what I'm building. I would be too. Alright, alright. We're going somewhere. It's also a... It's my first 15 system uh, thing as well. You don't have any more crew, do you? No, you don't. Uh, what about you? Please spare... Please give me every crew that you can spare. Well, that's almost enough. But it's not enough. And the crew are angry. And there's not enough cargo... But, uh, not enough crew... Crew, uh, crew quarter for them either. So the obvious thing to do is to attach you to here. Is this iron crew? I guess it is. Boy, that's big, heavy, and unpleasant. Alright, there we go. Still don't have enough crew. I need like another hundred or so. But there should be somewhere around here with plenty of crew. You got 50 odd. I already bought all the ones over there. Resource dock. 50 odd. Repair dock. 50 odd. Alright, I'm going to take the ship that can actually move and pick them up. I see cargo bays with a decorative ship on them. <laughs> That's good. It's nice to have this power, right? We spent a long time being horribly bullied in this game. And now I have the power. That massive cargo bay is actually going to be expanded further, because we have the technology. I'm just going to round up everybody. What a fate, right? This random ship comes screeching in, saying, I need you. I will pay you handsomely to do the job I need you to do. What's the job? I need you to operate this forklift in this flying Amazon warehouse. Do not question the goods that come in. Wouldn't be a bad job, would it? We must have some people here that do work for Amazon, right? They're a big employer. You hear all the negative stuff about it. There must be something good. Alright, there we go. That should be enough crew to keep that uh, box on legs running. Time to feed the beast. It even just looks like a giant secret stash on the map there. But I absolutely need to give it an impenetrable shield, so it's getting a bulwark.
I wonder how fast it can move, right? I, I did give it... Yeah, it doesn't accelerate well, or decelerate, but you know, that's that's double decimal digits, your pitch and roll. Pirates. Pirates? What pirates? I think I just deleted them. Oh, God. I just shot someone dead accidentally, I think. Yes. My auto shot aimed at a pirate deleted one of the, uh, the friendly people's ships. And they hated that. Huh, okay. Thank you for taking care of those ships. We transferred a reward to you. <laughs> Maybe you should give it to the families. Alright, how many crew did you need? Take, uh, take like 150 and see how you like those. Come on, is that auto sign there just for show? Sometimes it feels like it really is. Okay, do I need another 50 over here? Alright, that should do for now. And what do we still have? We still have a place for more. Our shields could be better. But you know, if the shields could be better and we already have multipliers, why don't we just give ourselves some shields? I've got Nanite. Now a nice shield generator right next to the crew slot. Oh, oh, I'm out of money. Okay, well, that's a different story. Uh, in that case, I want the bulwark shield. Feeling safe yet? I will with impenetrable shields. Uh, I'm also going to evidently need more energy. Recharge rate generated energy. That should be plenty. Ooh, that's not plenty enough. I'll give you the better one then. Oh, that's because I was using two blue ones, right? In that case, let's not be stingy. Generated rate, recharge rate, generated rate. Yes. Cargo capacity, relative. The flat one is awful, so I only care about the relative one. Cargo bay just went up to 300 thou. Relative some more. And do we relative some more? 2.4 million? I think yes we do. Cargo bay... 363k. Cargo bay... 421k. If I can fill that up, then good job me. Now how do you feel? Hey, he's feeling good. Of course he's feeling good. Why would he not? Alright, the obvious thing to do is to take all these weapons for a test drive. And we will do that on the... No, of course we're going to do it now. Um, I was willing to stop about an hour ago, but come on, you get this far, you don't want to stop. Your order is to escort me. My order is to jump in such a way that you can keep up. <laughs> Mineral extractors, turret factories... With a... With a belly as full as ours, I don't see a reason why we couldn't extract all those minerals, but what do mineral extractors get? Hmm... Mineral... Extractor... It just gives minerals, and I don't actually know the value of minerals. Probably not a lot. And I, I don't want to go on some low quality jump with what we have here. I certainly don't want solar panel... Uh, solar powers either. Aluminium, silicon, oil... OIL! Alright. Embrace the inner bush. Let's go. Does the captain add cargo space as well? No. The reason for my captain is to make sure that the stolen goods don't appear as stolen. Well, we're immediately leveling the place. I want to make sure that I don't pick up cargo at all. Where's my friend? Oh, there you are. By the way, would you mind picking up all this other crap that I don't want? I'm keeping the Rift research data, though. Also need to make sure that you are set to pick up all cargo. Yes, even if it's stolen, please. Because you have a smuggler merchant in charge. 
All right, maybe now I can pay attention to fighting around here. That won't be easy, given all the killing that happens. Actually, I just had a thought about the ship. See this uh, spectral laser, perhaps? Yes, yes, the spectral laser has to come off. Because it's a spectral separator, because I want it on the bottom. Reason being is that anything that flies under me is getting out of range of my shots. And I don't want to focus a lot of bullets underneath me, but I do want to know that anything that does fly underneath is going to see a bit of attention. I'll take this guy, for example. Oh, he's outside of the range of my guys, so my spectral underneath guy just... Away he goes. Although he's lasting a bit longer than I would have hoped. But we just need to stand here and things disappear. <laughs> Junior, senior, not that it matters. Well, at least I met senior. I didn't actually. I found a statue of him in Budapest and uh, got a photo taken with him. Guess they just love George Bush Senior over in uh, Budapest. Who would have thought? Okay, so good job, notable, uh, Noble Metal Mine. Your sheer amount of hull means I'm not going to waste my time fighting you. Just hearing all this clang, clang, clang. I wonder if that's Tank Z, but somewhere around me. Where is Tank Z? Tank Z appears to be having a hell of a time keeping up. <laughs> Did I do good yet, George? All right, these mines are too much of a pain for us to take on, I think. They're hulls. Yeah, hulls for the mines are in the millions. However, what we can do is continue to jump on and terrorize some places that have good stuff for us. That's a shipyard, biotope, power unit factory, laser head, transformator, conductor. Yes, that we're taking on. Meanwhile, Explorer 2 continues to explore. And the miners... Continue to mine. Immediate delivery. All three of them. It hardly seems fair, does it? It's okay, it was never meant to be fair. And there's Thud, drinking up the cargo. <laughs> I grab some, but only things that are immaterial. So essentially it matters not. All these guns, all these targets. Hmm. Is this modded? I do run mods. It's largely quality of life mods. Although it is a pretty healthy laundry list of mods here. It's a library. Advanced shipyard lets you build your own ship straight from the shipyard. Tooltip mod. Quality of life mod for the galaxy map to show information like areas of different goods. Max auto turrets means that you'll always be able to use auto turrets. Uh, turret factory tweak? Oh yeah, uh, the factories. Uh, can actually put out legendary turrets. Factory overview is a nice menu for looking at your factory. I only have one, but someday I will have hundreds. Invasion remover, it re resets and updated to the game that I frankly thought was terrible. It uh, caused a very disruptive Zotan invasion. Trash manager, a ma a manager, an excellent way to manage your trash. Very well made uh, mod as well, I love it. As I continue to look around and gather things up, what else is here? Clear shields to make the shields less ugly. I'm gonna go for an even clearer shield mod. This one isn't clear enough. There we go, I'm taking the, the money and the modules and such. And Thud is back there somewhere. Ah, oh, there you go. Drinking up the rest of the materials. Actually, when Thud comes by, we'll probably see these things just get gravitationally pulled towards the Amazon warehouse. 
someday. It's not the fastest ship around. Maybe I should have put a bigger thruster on it. Maybe I should have put a much bigger thruster on it. But I'm kind of out of money. There we go. It's being sucked up like Unicron has entered the scene. Mm. How are you feeling that in your warehouse? Yeah. 411,000 cargo space remains. Very good. Does the Adventure Companion loot range stack? I hadn't considered that, but I should try that. It'd be very handy to have a Tank Z. Mm, yeah, you know, I'd probably rather have that than some of this other stuff. Hmm, what would I rather have it over? Probably one of the additional cargo extenders. It clearly doesn't need any further extending in the cargo region. I think you can only install one of them. Ooh, that's a good point. Unique. Once per ship. I could, however, put in the loot grabber, but it's so bad. An extra 750 meters is going to be meaningless. Gosh, I didn't even notice I was fighting these things. Now, what I what I need to do is have this ship actually move. The thruster on the back is insufficient. I just need to make it a lot bigger. So that when it moves forward, it can actually move. But hey, mm, look at all this goods flow in. Barely making a dent in the cargo. But one of the main things we wanted to check was, did they ever rebuild the Rift Research Station? We destroyed this Rift Research Station um, eight hours ago. Is it back? I think I, think I left a transformator in a power unit factory, but they're all the way over there. And I'm all the way over here. Damn, now I want to play this and have a second ship attached. It's just a giant cargo bay. And I can drop into a sector while I fight and act as a loot vacuum. It can be done. Also, I should be able to take out the teleport this time. They did not rebuild. Huh, it's kind of a shame. I have no idea how it works with that. Hmm. Oh well, what's a man to do? This looks pretty good. Teleporter vehicle factory. We like vehicles. Alright, we're having that. Stop playing with your food and get moving. I'm not convinced they ever rebuild, says Naffle. The code says they do. Oh, well, could be I'm dead wrong on it. It's well worth further investigation, however you look at it. <laughs> Due to turmoil, I am the turmoil. Go, my guns, go. They try to bring in reinforcements. Thud is just there, eating some shots. Grabbing me an exotic limited adventuring companion. Tell me, what flavor of companion do you have? That's actually good. I want you to have better loot range. So if I got a legendary one, I'd probably prefer to give it to you. Probably not going to find that around here, but... God, that poor ship thought it could fly under me. I'm wise to your ways. We have the dissector placed underneath the ship. Surely you're strong enough to take on the Zotan. Not the Zotan boss, that's for sure. You should have been there for the multiplayer. Uh, the sheer amount of ships there and the amount of DPS needed to tear a, tear a chunk out of that guy. What do I have? I have 14,000 Omicron. I think we were hitting it with a combined total of 400,000 Omicron, perhaps more. And it was still a real slugfest.
Come on, blow up. I got a thuddy ship that needs to get you. He's flying over there as fast as his uh, little thrusters can get him. That uh, spam on the right hand screen is a shipment of yield coming in from my uh, automated scrappers. Yeah, the idea is sound, but I need my additional ship to be considerably faster. So probably bigger engines, but that said. Oh no, Unicron's pulling us in! <laughs> All will be one with the Amazon warehouse. How are you feeling about all those goodies? Feeling pretty good. Alright, let's go and level this freaking place. Yeah, I want to add much bigger thrusters onto this, uh, not just thrusters, but a much bigger engine onto this thing, so it can keep up faster. And of course, bigger loot range from a better adventure companion, even a legendary one is considerable to put on it. A legendary companion would actually be better on that thing than on my current ship. Which begs the question, could I make one? Uh, limited adventure companion. Ah, that's essentially four of these, four and four, three. There's a chance, but it's not a good chance that I could make a legendary one. There's a lot of 60% rolls involved in making that. Couldn't you mod loot range extender to have comparable range? Uh, yes, I could, but I don't want to extend far beyond quality of life mods. If I start going, ooh, this is underpowered, I'm going to tweak it. I'm going to start feeling like I'm... It doesn't sit right with me. Of course, you might reasonably say, well, if you don't feel like that, why are you even using the limited adventure companion? And to that, I have no retort. I want to, and so I do, and I don't do the other thing because I don't want to. It's all the reason I need In my opinion, specialized modules are far at classic combined one. Yeah, but the combined one is modded because it's such a pain in the bum to constantly switch out all the different modules of auxiliary ones that you need. Loot range, radar range, docking range. Got modules for them, but it's such a pain to keep switching them. It's nice to have one module that you just put in and forget about. Are you looking to wipe out all of the iron people? What about the bear moths in the perfect hands of challenge? I've got the behemoth disabled right now because they're just an annoyance, but uh, I will at some point enable them and fight them because I need to get their modules, and then I'll probably re-disable them because they are just a pain in the bum. I don't, uh, I don't think it's a good addition. I think it's it's just like one of those late game damage checks. Can you damage the behemoth fast enough to kill it before it warps away? Yes or no? Is that guy still there? Take him out. Actually, if I destroy everything here, I'll be able to add the uh, thrusters that I want onto my big old ship. But no, I don't plan on wiping out all of the iron people. That wouldn't be very sporting, would it? There we go, yet more of the loot just being sucked in. God, I love to see it. It is a bit slow, though. Uh, in my ideal world, the ship is keeping a lot closer to me a lot faster. We'll see if more thrusters can improve the situation. Looks like you plucked the loot from there, and now can you get close enough to grab all that? Why 
Wiping out all the iron people would take a long time, so it is not something of particular interest. Allying them, I think, would be considerably faster than wiping them out, because that's a lot of sectors with a lot of individual things to destroy. And I don't know if the game cares about wiping out gates or not to consider a, a faction dead. Because you can't damage gates. So I don't know how that would work. I thought I was running low on credits. Oh, I am running low on credits. I got 15 million in the vault. That much is undeniable. But I got, I got other ships that need paid. Come on, Habitat. What do you have for me? Whilst I outrun this exotic drop. In Star Ruler, you can basically arbitrary scare your ships. At some point, you can sail so far that your only point defense starts triggering other ships. Kind of got reminded of it because of your lumbering ship. Uh, don't we have to sound so negative when we're talking about the, uh, the Tank Z floating cargo bay? I'd rather think it's resplendent. Although it is slow. Man alive, is it slow. I think it's boosting right now and only hitting... Uh, is it boosting? Can we even check that? It certainly sounds like it's boosting. <laughs> you need such a much larger thruster there. And maybe have the thruster be more center of mass. I will I will try and improve you. But I need to wipe out all the enemies here first, and that includes that resource depot. And I also want you to grab the goodies over here. Don't know what they are, but I don't want to grab them. Some weapons would be able to hit this range. Some weapons can have up to, I think, about 60 kilometers range. I think you actually dodged past the habitat, although I can't remember where the habitat was. Oh, there it is, and it looks like you did grab the goods. I'm sorry, I doubted you. Don't fat shame the trader, his bulk is necessary. That's not fat, that man, he lifts. He's got that Middlesbrough working class man body. Maybe designing proper cargo ship is the way to get back into ship design now. <laughs> back into, I don't think I was ever truly into it. The ship designing stuff doesn't click with me in this game, so I'd rather just go to the, uh, the warehouse, uh, the workshop. However, before next session, I will probably have a look for just massive freighter. Something that can actually move and store. It's going to cost a lot of materials, no doubt, but yeah, a very large one. Ooh, mobile, sir mobile merchant uh, Uki is here. Well, I'm going to take out this drill factory, and then you are going as well. And it looks like Tanks has already swallowed everything up as the scrap just falls into that belly. Uh, wait, where's the factory? Oh, there it is. Nice seeing those shots and seeing uh, five digit numbers pop up. We've come a long way even from our earlier today uh, rampage of the iron sector. Also, we're not in the iron sector. We're in the titanium flirting with the now night sector. I actually feel strong enough that I can finally go and kick the buccaneers in the teeth for what they did to me. The downside is that it wouldn't be very profitable. It's much faster to... Uh, it's much more profitable to bully whoever you can kill the fastest within reason. The difference between spending two seconds and five seconds killing a station is no big deal, but five seconds and a few minutes is a big deal. 
and that's the difference between Trinium and Nanonite generally because of the shields. Had fun in MP with a gun that dealt a hundred thousand per hit, says Naffel. Naffel was the one to take. What kind of weapons were they again that you, dare I say, specialised in? Oh, overshot our little merchant friend. Hello! Oh, goodbye. I have no idea what goods those are. But now that there's nobody here, you know what I could do? I could lament in the fact that I don't have much money. And we're going to take a small withdrawal from the Bank of the Alliance. Five, one, two, three, one, two, three. Five million dollar dues. And with that, I can hopefully afford a Trinium engine, which is considerably more capable of moving this thing. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, you... Uh, you need another how many crew for that? 200 odd. Maybe, you, maybe that's a bit big for you then. Still probably a bit big for you. Well, definitely is a bit big for you. How many spare crew do I have? <laughs> 17. Okay, well, don't worry. Just get over here and grab this stuff. It's going even slower because it can't maintain anything due to the lack of crew. Oh gosh, it can't even generate the energy because of that. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's uh, let's get rid of that so you can actually move to a degree. What if I were to take control of you? How fast can this thing even move? 500? What if we boost? 600, 700, 800, 900. Yeah, this thing can move with a, with a bit of an added push. Yummy, yummy. All right, all right. Take back control of you. Still need to order you to escort me. And then we're going to probably go to the smuggler hideout. Is that the only one around here? One quick check for smug tells us yes. But I'll probably go to the south because I need to I need to grab some extra crew. So to here, to here, to you, to me. No repairing this sector. We've left nothing alive. It's almost hard to believe that that ship can keep up with hyperspace transporting. How? Not only that, but its hyperspace recharge bar goes up like crazy. It's able to join no problem. 500 meters per second squared acceleration, 10 meters per second squared deceleration. What could go wrong? Just bump into something. Whoops. Please stop that. The syndicate now hate me because I just killed some innocents here. Oh, they hate me a lot. I just went hostile with these smugglers. Sorry. It's okay, there are, there are other smuggler options. I'm a little loath to destroy the smugglers because I like having smugglers around. Oh yeah, crikey, that just went full on, uh, full on angry. Time to find out what a smuggler's den drops. It's a big chunk of rock, it would have a massive hull. Yeah, there is cloning on ships, Acronymous, absolutely. I could put on a cloning bay here if I wanted to, I don't particularly want to. Not much demand for it currently. Uh, 
I know what you mean, holding the groin, in the rare case that I'm beset with that. I just mute the tab and then uh, hide it, and then come back when I remember to reopen it. Alright, the Zotan are slowly becoming a threat. You haven't seen what I've seen. Thud, let's grab you. And let's go. And make our way over. Where is it? Where's the smuggler den? There it is. Come on, thrusters. Uh, am I going to stop in time to hit this thing? Well, I'd rather not hit it. <laughs> Gracefully moving by. Give me all your crew. Whoops. What did I just smash? I just lost one of my frontal thrusters. <laughs> Oh lordy, uh, not dignified. I want as much of an engine as I can afford with my engineers here. Is that too much? Possibly. Right, I got all these stolen goods. I can't think of any that I want to keep. Always check for stolen rift research data because that stuff is a big deal. But I want to get an idea of just how much of my cargo space I, I chewed up. What does that look like? That's about half, that's about a quarter, so in about one sixth, I'd say. And how much dosh was that for me? Sadly, this UI blows. I gotta hold down a number key and do a lot of clicking to sell these goods. And I gotta give five million back to the Alliance Vault. Three million? Four million? All things considered, it wasn't that big a raid because I wasn't able to move Thud around fast enough, but that will change. Seven million? Eight million? Nine million? Got some big value goods here. Ten million? Eleven million? Be amazing if I was accidentally unbranding all these, that would be painful. 14 million. There we go, 14.2 million. Easy money, just tearing apart the uh, titanium people. And there's no reason to stop. I think I'll continue to ravage these people and take their money, and I'm going to turn that money into industry. I'm going to set up a bunch of mines across the place, and those mines are going to constantly chug out money. And then once I hit a good mass of money, I'll be able to advance my industry on further. So let's make a little note for ourselves. So, uh, next session to do. Pillage the... What's a nice derogative term for the uh, technologically unadvanced people that are stuck in the iron, titanium, and perhaps even now night ages? Mm, primitives is a go to, but I always think of you know sticks and fire with primitives. The heathen? No, no, no. That that's doesn't really drive forward their lack of technological prowess enough. The troglodytes! <laughs> the Henrys. I think I'll stick with the primitives. Pillage the primitives. Um, build up mines. Steal more rift research. I really want that. Uh, one thing I also would really quite like to do is enhance uh, enhance the cargo escort. And I want to enhance the cargo escort with 
better better movement. Yes, batter movement. I think batter is the problem that you got that fat. Enhance the cargo escort with better movement. And better loot range. Legendary companion. Once we have the mines, the rift research. I should consider what my goals are as we work towards them. Mm, what was that? Puff. I think those are people that are after me, right? Bounty hunters? No, just supposedly tough bandits. Well, I should have the range to eliminate them. There we go, this syndicate likes me. Even from this range, things go bye-bye. Oh, that's right, I need to pay back my alliance money. Five, one, two, three, one, two, three. Blonk. And I think all my automated uh, ships are doing automated things. You get over there. All right, very good. You really need more money. Yeah, I absolutely need more money, but that's the idea. I'm going to pillage these people turn their money into mines, and then as the automated money just keeps rolling in, soon the amount of money that comes in from automated mines will outclass the money that I can make from pillaging. And that's good, because pillaging is very fun, but it's also a manual process. I also really want to find more rift areas, so I'd probably also equip more explorers to go exploring around this area to find more rift places to blow up. Been a little disappointed in the lack of rift research areas down here. One and one, we blew these up already. And I don't want to turn on these guys. They like me and I like them. So if I can find some rifty areas around here and blow them up, I'll be all that much happier. So yeah, I think that's a point. Um, more explorers for um, finding rifts. Rift researchers. All right, a large part of the next session, I reckon, will be building up the economy with mines, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to becoming rich. So the big leg up here is that we became strong. The next is to become rich. And when we are rich and strong, then we should really be able to work towards the big goals here. The, I'll do a small wedge of charting to begin with. The entire universe, I'm going to wait quite a long time on that because I think it could very negatively impact performance. The all major factions allied or eliminated comes after finding them all. The resources we're going to work on. All right, shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad. Oh, there's another thought. One uh, next session. Carriers for my miners. I'd really like to be able to move on to carriers next time. Anyway, I've been playing for most of today. It's almost tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow the European speedrun assembly starts, so uh, don't, don't look at my schedule and think that it's in any way indicative of what could happen tomorrow. Uh, I, need to, I need to sort my bloody life out is what I need to do. In any case, until I am back with more of, uh, you know, let's, let's be ambitious. It's DDR, Resident Evil 4 2023 long play, the weekly one-shot and more of Orion. Until I'm back with that, it is a cheers and a cheerio.